Hey everybody, it's Jack Wallen again with another two minute drill. Today I want to teach you how to effectively use the ellipse. You know what the ellipse is. It's that dot dot dot. It's probably that thing you have overused much of your career, just like I did when I first started writing. Anytime I had no idea what punctuation was necessary, I would just throw an ellipse. Need a comma? Oh, ellipse. Semicolon? Nah, forget it. Ellipse. Colon? Ellipse. Anything. Ellipse. 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 But in the end, I find that there are really just two reasons to use an ellipse. I'm going to tell you what those reasons are right now. Now, of course, this is kind of personal for me. It is what I have learned over the years. Okay, the first reason I use an ellipse is for trailing thoughts. So when a character is speaking and they don't want to finish their sentence, I will just throw in and dot, dot, dot. You know, trailing thoughts. It's a great tool. The other reason I use an ellipse is in similar fashion to the way I sometimes will use a comma. I use a comma often for a pause. That's not the only reason to use a comma, but I will use it in that way, being very careful not to use it incorrectly. But that pause is a short pause. The ellipse, however, is a longer pause. So when you want to add a longer pause than a comma would give, you would throw in an ellipse. Now, it's also very important that you don't overuse this because if you overuse this, it will lose its effectiveness. So use it sparingly, use it wisely, and the ellipse will be dot, 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 your friend. And that, my friends, is another two minute dot, dot, dot. Thank you very much.